वेलकम बैक टू दिस रीडिंग क्लब सो हियर इन दिस रीडिंग सेशंस वी रीड स्टोरीज फॉर किड्स विथ मोरल नाउ वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम द बुक 365 मोरल स्टोरीज इन फ्यूचर विल रीड स्टोरीज फ्रॉम द अदर बुक्स एज वेल सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग ऑन इफ यू आर लिसनिंग फ्रॉम द पॉडकास्ट दैन थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज रीडिंग सेशन सो द ने फीचर मैन a man spent an entire morning fishing but managed to catch only one tiny fish just as the fisherman was about to take the fish home the fish opened its mouth and began to speak you see i am very small now it said i won't be able to fill your stomach if you let me live live for a few more days i will grow big and strong and then you can eat me The knife fisherman set the fish free, but never got it back. Moral of the story is, don't sacrifice what you have for something you may not get. Now the cooking competition. The next story is the cooking competition, which will be read by Aratrika. Charlotte and Ben were participating in a cooking competition at their school. Well, everyone had to make a simple yet tasty sandwich. And then, Charlie was busy making her sandwich when her bottle of sauce fell to the ground and shattered to pieces. She had not time to put on the sandwich as her all sauce was spilled. Just then, Ben offered his bottle of sauce to Charlie. While neither of of them won the competition, Ben of both. be kind and helpful more on the story good deeds never get and never go unnoticed that's a very important moral don't see always the immediate win you may try something you may not get something immediately but your try gets always added to your deed and some day you will obviously get the ben- success or the benefit out of it So never think that okay this time I didn't get it this time I'm not successful so the whole effort actually gets ruined never always your effort is added to your whatever is your towards your achievement that always remember that okay okay the ice cream seller's deal one day a generous ice cream seller decided to give all the children a treat kids come and help yourself to as many ice cream as you like all free of charge one greedy boy attempted to carry seven ice cream in his small pudgy hands of course he couldn't manage this all the ice cream fell on the ground and were wasted the greedy boy didn't get to eat even one ice cream moral of the story is greed will never help you succeed that's also very important moral the next story is the warrior sword There was once a warrior who was too lazy to sharpen his sword. He would keep putting the task off till the next day, but he had delayed it too long. One day, war was suddenly declared. The warrior tried his best to kill the enemy soldiers, but his sword was too blunt to even cut butter. He couldn't do much to save himself. His laziness eventually caused his defeat. All the other warrior feel felt sad for their friend but also learned to never be lazy like him. Moral of the story is laziness is a curse. So the next story is the boy who didn't pack his school bag will be read by Aratrika. There was a boy who hated to pack his school bag every night. He would feel too lazy to do it. He decided to go to bed without packing his bag one evening the next morning his alarm failed to ring and he woke up late for school he rushed to his morning clothes and left for school in a hurry while packing his bag that morning he forgot to put his homework in a bag this caused him to be punished in school for the stories good luck procrastination is not a good idea procrastination means when you think that you will do something later so that is called a habit of procrastination which is not good always 
whatever whenever you have to do the things do it quickly finish it and then do the next thing got it the next story is the talented chick okay a little chick was good at everything that chicks are able to do she could sing dance act and even balance a book on her, on her head her teachers and parents were very happy with her skills and abilities however the chick had a best friend a squirrel the squirrel was never happy with the chick because she could not climb trees the chick wanted to please her best friend one day she tried to climb a tree but she, but fell down and injured her wing moral you can't please everyone that's another very very important lesson you have to know what you should do and what you shouldn't do so don't try to please everyone that's not your job understand and i am telling to you also the listeners and the viewers so these all morals are very important in your life next story is the perfect omelet which will be read by aratrika judap was a little boy who dreamt of making the perfect omelet when he tried he realized it was very difficult as the omelet would break every time he tried to flip it finally finally after trying hard and practicing for an entire day he did up was able to make a perfect omelet he learned the right way to flip it from then on judas omelet never broke moral of the story is, practice makes you perfect that's also very important lesson mummy told you every time <laughs> hai na so the next story is the leaking roof a lazy man named david lived in a very unstable house one day his wife complained there is a hole in the roof through which the sunlight streams in please fix this before this monsoon but david paid no heed soon the monsoon arrived and water started leaking from the roof fix the roof for ev- or everything in the house will get wet his wife warned him despite the warning lazy david did not bother the hole began to get bigger and finally the roof collapsed david's laziness had caused the destruction of his of his house moral of the story is tend to damage soon or it will lead to a greater loss okay you have to take quick action so that the damage you can restrict the damage or you can minimize the damage Please reduce then now is your time you don't know okay the next story is the lazy cloth trader there was a cloth trader who always carried large volume of fabric in his cloth bag one day his bag had a tiny tear but the trader ignored it and continued with his work slowly the tear began to grow bigger and bigger till all the fabric he was carrying fell through the hole the cloth bag had split open the trader had to restitch the entire bag he wasted a lot of time and effort moral of the story is a stitch in time saves nine there that's also very very important i don't know then me the only is your time okay the next story is milly's laundry one day milly the mouse decided to dry her laundry out in the open she began hanging all of her clothes near neatly on the branch of a tree suddenly milly saw a large dark cloud looming overhead oh please do not let it rain milly prayed it can rain after my laundry has dried after saying this tiny prayer milly left her laundry on the branch and went inside the house sadly it rained heavily and all of milly's laundry was soaking wet instead of dry the moral of the story is very very strong and it sh- you, we all should remember it nature has its rules so you should not pray and you should not stop working whatever you have to do okay the honest woodcutter one day a woodcutter was cutting wood by a stream his axe accidentally fell into the water the woodcutter started crying because he did he didn't know how to swim soon a fairy emerged from the stream carrying three axes 
one made of gold another made of silver and third made of bronze and asked the woodcutter which among of these is yours dear man none replied the woodcutter honestly hey mine was an iron axe did you see yeah the fairy was so impressed that she gave him his axe and the other precious ones too moral of the story is honesty is the best policy so the next story is the story of two frogs which will be the last story for today so the last story for today is the story of two frogs one day two frogs fell into a pot of milk they both started drowning they frantically tried to save themselves but in vain finally one frog just gave up and sank the other frog went on moving his legs and churning the milk trying to stay afloat after some time the milk curdled and they got set into butter the frog who did not give up was able to hop out of the container his life was saved because he did not give up moral of the story is god helps those who help themselves this is also a very important learning which i have learned from my life that only praying will not help only setting goal will not help you have to act towards achieving that and when god will see that you are working that time only god is going to help otherwise god is not going to help any of you so with that note let's end today's session it was very nice uh, telling stories for you and i hope you you like the stories if you like it uh please share it with your friends and if you want to join the creative thinking academy please log uh, please register your name in the below link and uh, see you live in in my session thank you thank you for watching good night bye bye